Hello, this is Klopop321. This is tutorial 025, and it's titled The Game. And I'm going to be explaining to you what I my friend did uh, and what he used to uh, in PHP after I taught him some stuff um, to create such a thing. And uh, he used uh, the session to move on and do things so I'm going to start this page here now by the way I did this first this to to whole tutorial without realizing my mic was off so this is a voiceover so if I'm talking a bit out of sync with what I'm actually doing I'm sorry this is the best that I can really do because I don't want to record this whole 25 minute tutorial over again and by the way, this isn't too much of a tutorial, but more like I'm just showing off what you can do and how you can apply it. And um, so I'm going to go along here and put in PHP at the beginning because I need to start the session. And so that we started every single page iteration or refresh or go to. And then from here we can start processing what we want to do. So we're going to make a grid and we're going to make an array because we love arrays and we're going to go on and make our width and uh, make it 30 but actually I'm going to make it to 20 in a few seconds here. And I'm going to make the height the same and but I need to add a dollar sign I'm going to make it to 20, but I'm going to change it to 15 in a little bit to make, or not 15, I'm going to make it shorter in a little bit to make it easier on us. And here's the point at where my Bluetooth keyboard started messing up and disconnected, and now it's reconnecting, and I don't like that. So I'm going to make a for statement here, or a for loop, and I'm going to start with x equals 0, and go on with the x is less than the width and I'm going to go and do plus plus there and the reason why I'm doing that is because it adds every single time it hits that so I'm going to add this loop again but change it to a Y and change it to the height And now I'm going to go on and uh, put in stuff into this grid variable here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in this x and then I'm going to put in the y. Or I'm just going to leave it blank so it does its own thing there. And I'm going to go forward and just add a ray there. But uh, in the future, future I'm going to remove that because it makes it simpler just to have something uh, that fills it in. So here I'm going to print the grid out and you'll see a bunch of arrays and all sorts of stuff which just is not pretty to look at. But in the source you can see that it goes on and uh, everything hits up to 19 and um, for the Y and then for the X which is the kind of lower level thing it gets to 19 and that's it there so we're going to change that and um, we're just going to make it like a blank space and we're going to get these kind of forward equals to nothing for everything so I'm going to change it to an to an underscore in a bit, but first we're going to make it so that we're printing out a table. So first we're going to try echoing out what a table is, and that's a uh, table tag of course in HTML. And we're going to go on and uh, get our for loop here and pretty much copy it. And uh, by the way, um, in HTML, it kind of goes uh, from Y to X instead of X to Y because the table um, the table rows come first, which is the X, but you're going from up to down, so you have to process it as the Y first. 
Um, otherwise, you're going to get a swapped table here. And I'm going to put in a end table tag down here. And I'm going to put in my table row tag up before each of my table cells. And I'm going to end that after this loop. And I'm going to go in and put in my TD or table dimension, whatever it is and put in whatever my grid is at that spot so here I am just going kind of typing along and putting the grid and putting in X and then I'm going to put in Y and I'm going to close this tag here and then I'm going to save it and come back here and check it out now, as you can see there it's pretty much blank because there's nothing in any of the cells whatsoever so I'm going to exit out of that and come back to this over here and I'm going to put in a a new line so that if we do look at the source in the future which we don't um, it would be cleaner and I'm going to do the same thing up there and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to kind of set a default which is an underscore or X really but will be an underscore so now we can see that we have this table of X's but uh, let's make it so the height is not as tall so we're going to make it as 10 and we're going to go forward and make it shorter so now we have this wonderful columns and rows of X's so we're going to put on a border and go on and you'll see that it, we just added something like that and next we're going to change this to an underscore finally and as you can see now it's kind of blanketish but uh, it doesn't take up space too much anymore so what we're going to do next is we're going to process the grid and I'm going to say if the session of the X is set. Um, I'm going to set to an, a default of say half the uh, width and half the and uh, for the Y um, the same thing but with the height half the height. Um, and the reason why I put that uh, that exclamation point there is because I want to get it if I want this to run if it is not set. Um, and is set of course returns if it is and what I want to know is if it's not so here I am dividing the width and I changed that to an integer because um, the position in the array kinda depends on the uh, on an integer not a floating or real number a float number is one that has decimal points in it and um, so I just set uh, that to an X and I'm going to go on and uh, change the session of the gr I'm going to change the grid where the session of the Y and the session of the Y and the X meet at and I'm going to change it to an X and save and we're going to see that it goes right in near the middle and it's run it up of course and since we didn't do an odd number for the width, uh, we got that. So I'm going to put in some links at the bottom here. Um, for D as in direction equals left for left in my link here. And I'm going to do the same thing again for right, up, and down. Sort of, and then we'll process it in a little bit. And I just accidentally made a mistake there of changing the up to a D, and you'll